Oh, jeez. That thing spins. Wow. It spins like crazy. Let's go. What's up everyone? We're doing a awesome video today and that is we're upgrading a BFS reel with micro bearings. So the Surinoya Spare Flux has been a very, very popular entry level BFS reel, budget BFS reel. There's only one problem with it that I have so far and not everyone have it. Is some, sometimes some folks may receive this reel overly lube, especially their uh, anti-reverse roller bearing. It's not really a bearing, but anti-reverse roller. And what happened is this thing basically spins backwards and you know, you lose some line and uh, you might lose some fish like it happened to me earlier this season. If you don't have that issue, then you know, this is actually a very awesome reel. And when I upgraded to ceramic hybrid bearings, it got even better because it allowed the spool to spin a lot easier, permitting me to cast lighter lures a lot easier. And then here we are, the ultimate, ultimate bearings for BFS fishing are micro bearings. Now, you'll see the difference between the two right here is, in fact, maybe I should just pop these stuff open, but I actually have a few right here on the side. So let me just grab into my nice trusty bag of uh, bearings. Here we go. This should be the same size as this one here. So um, this is a five by 11 by four. Okay. so. As you see, this is five by 11 by four as well. See the big difference? The micro bearings are a lot smaller than the standard size bearings, even though this is a ceramic hybrid bearings. And because it's so small, they have to put like a, a aluminum outer race so that it could actually fit into your spool and your, your reel. Now, why are we using these micro bearings? Well, let me give you a quick analogy. Uh, if you guys are into cars, th there is a reason why when you shift gears, you start with low gears and the lower gears are smaller and you, as you go to high gears, it's getting bigger. The reason is it takes a lot less energy to run your gears when it's a smaller gear. All right, so you're not into cars. Let me give you a, a very, very simple, very super duper simple analogy. You have a can of corn or you have a barrel of oil. Which one is easier to push? Obviously, the can of corn it requires less energy to start that rolling process. And this is exactly why you will want micro bearings for BFS reels. If you want to cast light lures, you want that spool to start shooting right when you cast. You don't, you want to hit this max spinning speed so that it does not hinder your casting distance. So with that said, I am using Ray Studio. From my understanding, Hedgehog Studio is probably the leading Japanese company that actually created micro bearings for BFS fishing. And I think Ray Studio is kind of like the, the second guy that wanted to compete. And then there's newer stuff like, uh, I believe SDS or uh, some other Chinese brand that you see on AliExpress. Very little, not that many people actually niche into these bearings, but um, yeah, the most expensive one is Hedgehog Studio. Then it comes to Ray Studio. And um, sometimes you might be able to get a cheap, like I got this from AliExpress. And this actually got lost in mail and it came one and a half month late. Given that uh, that was before the COVID-19 issue, I was able to get my refund uh, because it delivered way past the delivery date, which is awesome. But uh, if you guys want to buy this for the Surinoya, I did leave a link in the description below, but this video is actually shot right here, the introduction, which is kind of odd after the fact that I went out and already um, tested it and I gotta say guys this is a big game changer. The lures comes out super fast allowing me to cast light lures so much easier and one thing I realized that because the lure comes out so fast it could even cut through some of the windy conditions I was fishing in and you will see later on uh, the video that it it just made casting so much easier. Now I'm not saying that you know if you do the overhand cast high in the sky and try to get far distance, it will, will cut through wind. Obviously that's a terrible type cast in the wind. The best way to cast in those windy conditions are underhand roll cast, keeping your lure very close to the water. But anyhow guys, this video is obviously not talking about how to cast or anything. It's really about why you should use micro bearings for your BFS reel and it's the best upgrade ever. So if you guys can't afford those crazy JDM reels or you guys have JDM reels that does not have uh, micro bearings, you guys should consider buying some micro bearings for your BFS reels. 
But anyway, uh, this one here, it uses five by 11 by four, and this is three by 10 by four. So this guy right here, the bigger guy, goes into here, just like that. And you just pop this pin back in. Wow, I actually used my hand to do it. Freaking beast. Anyway, guys, this goes back into here. And I'm gonna show you guys how fast this thing spins once I install it. Look at that. And the last guy goes into the side plate and um, you don't need the one on the side, trust me. You guys, you guys do not need it. Don't worry at all. Just these two is plenty enough. And you will see in this video that, you know, casting was so much fun. I get to cast my lures with a lot less effort. And um, I would say because it comes out so much faster, the accuracy is so much better. And a couple things, uh, before you guys even do your first cast, make sure you guys put your brakes on very high and cast lightly. Cast lightly, because you guys will likely backlash. But anyway, I set the brakes to zero here. And, ooh, looks pretty good. It's gonna shoot so fast out, man. All right, so let me cut to the casting part and show you guys how it works. All right, guys, back to the pond. The wind picked up and there's more people. Everyone's fishing, man, with the COVID-19. I heard uh, fishing lengths and sales went up 200, 300%, depending on what you know part of the country you're in. So <laughs> go figure. I guess that's why uh, videos views have been skyrocketing. So hopefully one of you new subscribers will like what I'm doing here. But today I am using the upgraded bearings with the micro bearings, okay? So the first floor I'm throwing is a, ah, it's a little heavier than 1 16th ounce. I will have the total weight in here, but I am using Epic Modes, their custom swim bait. Small two inch guy, it's pretty amazing. But I think this is close to around, oh, a little over three grams, okay? I usually throw a 16th ounce jig head for my BFS fishing with some sort of soft plastic. So this is exactly what I want to do today. All right, and first thing I want to do is I want to jack the brakes up because this thing spun crazily. I'm gonna double check my tension here. Okay, that's no good. All right, that should be good. I know the wind is blowing, which is unfortunate, but you know, this is what I was dealt with. All right, the brakes are definitely too high, but it went out fast and it was quiet. Holy smokes. All right, let's get away from the tree because the tree stole my freaking rod last time. All right, guys, you saw that? That went pretty far out there. Even with the crazy wind, it went pretty much straight. straight. You know, with the bearings, I feel like it shoots out so quick that it doesn't really matter by the wind that much. If you throw it low enough, I threw it low enough, but you just, Maybe you can see it on video, but the, the line definitely bent with the wind. This is a good time right there. Oh yeah, guys, this bearing right here is amazing. I can't believe it cast so far. When you, you remember when I first upgraded my bearings to ceramic, ceramic hybrid, uh, hybrid bearings, I was like, oh, it was, it was the bomb. Guys, this is the bomb now. Like I'm not even using that much effort to cast. And I'm actually gonna lower the brakes a little bit. See how far, far it goes, even with the wind, ready? Um, I mean, it didn't go out that far, but I think it went faster and it was, even with the wind, it was pretty darn accurate. So, holy smokes. Man, these bearings, where were you in my early BF thing uh, adventure? Look at that. That, that is accurate. Holy smokes. I never thought that bearings could actually make your cast so much more accurate. Like before, I think the lure doesn't go out as fast. Therefore, you know, I cast in specific weird ways and it has to compensate, uh, you know, I got to cast to compensate where I want the lure to go. But right there, I just did a, a swing and it went so far and accurate. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Th this, this bearing right here, guys, you, you have to do it. Now I'm going to switch over quickly to some lighter lures. I want to switch to the lightest one, the Eurotaco Z Viber and see how that goes. But I'm using four pound test line, casting Max Steel, their twin tip BFS rod, casting rod. This is the ultra light and light combo or uh, twin tip rod thingy. But uh, I have the ultra light tip version, okay? So that's enough to chat. I'm gonna reel this back in. We'll change lures and see how things goes. Okay guys, here it is. 
the Euro Tackle Z Viber 116 ounce or 1.8 grams. The lightest lure I ever saw, I guess in my life really, unless it's fly fishing, right? So let's jack the brakes up. Another rip. Oh crap, it went out quick. Guys, remember uh, when I did the tattoo the first time, how it spent so fast? It was kind of like that, that quick. It came out that quick. I'm gonna adjust my casting style right now. It's, <laughs> oh man, it just shot right into the water. I kind of screwed up right there, but the wind is picking up, so it's definitely still hard to cast, but already I have a feeling that uh, this guy has no problem being casted. So let me pivot a little to the right, low. Okay, it's going a little left with the wind and uh, my swinging is a little, a little off because it's, it's just so light, but it goes out pretty far. All right. Soft the cast. All right, so it's all about soft cast. Times like this, I'd rather use my dexterity rod instead of this casting rod because the casting BFS rod here is a little stiffer. I would want the rod to load up a little bit more for stuff like this, but right now it's okay, it's okay. In fact, I miss my rosewood rod. <laughs> that thing is so long, that thing loaded up so well, cast light lures, no problem. But uh, that is far. It's probably by the furthest I cast uh, this Bevide with the Spirit Fox and uh, the Cast King, uh, the Max Steel Rod. Even with the ceramic hybrid bearings upgrade, I don't think I cast it that far that easily. These micro bearings actually makes it cast so much easier. All right, I'm gonna cast with the wind a little bit. Let it ride. Oh, holy smokes, I went so far. I don't know if I I'll put the spool down so you guys see the actual, uh, you know, how much line went out, but here's the spool right here, right? That much line with the wind. Let it go. Boom. Look at that. All right. You need to start spinning. <laughs> the wind is actually blowing the line, right? And it's still pulling out because the bearings right here roll so easily right now with the, the micro bearings. And like I said in the beginning of the video, um, the analogy I used was if you were to push a can of corn or a barrel of oil, which one's easier to be pushed? Obviously, the can of corn because it's smaller and and lighter, right? And this whole concept right here of micro berries is awesome for BFS fishing. All right, guys, my bread and butter. This is it. I'm gonna jack the brakes to like five. I'm going ballsy. I'm gonna cast this out. <laughs> it's just too fast. It is just too fast. Not a good idea, Jabo. All right, boys and girls, I'm putting the brakes back high. I gotta say, man, I'll Making your lure goes out fast means you gotta have uh, better thumbing, better timing. You can't throw your arm out hard as you can. But that is good distance here with the uh, eight, seven and a half brakes. And I just lobbed it out there, very accurate. Just like the what I was saying uh, the, on the last lure, last two lures. Uh, but yeah, you, you'll be mindful. It just, it, it just come out so quick. Now I'm gonna try to put it to six and just Softly lob it, it goes out fast, and it's just as far as the first cast I just did, but I use a lot less energy. So, um, does it go further? It feels it does like uh, it goes further, uh, but 100% sure that it goes further with lighter energy. Like, I don't need to whip it hard as I can, you know, and you shouldn't be. You know, if you have a bait finesse setup and you're actually whipping hard as you can every single cast, something's wrong, guys. Something is wrong there. So this this is amazing. I I am loving this upgrade. See that? Boom! Got him! Got him! Oh yeah! Oh, that look, look at that. The, the bass is trying to come, come through this bass for his food. Look at that. Try to attack him. That's that's the interesting thing right there. Look at look, look the bass is waiting for him, trying to take his food. All right, well, you can't have his food. It's his. All right, you want to uh, go on YouTube, bite my lord necks. All right, here we go, guys. 
small little dinky bass in a dink pond. All right, welcome back to the lab. Hey, look, GH100 end up in here, but uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. So as you guys saw, the spare flex did wonderful. And the reason why I did my intro after I went casting is because it was just so windy out there and there's just so many people out there. It was really, really tough to use those clips to even talk about uh, the upgraded bearings, but I'm glad I took the time and actually started the video here and show you guys uh, the ins and outs of the bearings before I insert it into here, then did the testing. And as you guys saw that this upgrade, it's worth every penny. Now, I did a video recently as well. And in fact, it was the same day where I upgraded the GH100 with ceramic hybrid bearings and it was night and day. So if you guys are interested, because I'm definitely interested, uh, leave me a comment below. I could go out and search for some micro bearings that will fit the GH100 and take it out for another shot. You know, this, this, uh, these two reels are definitely great budget BFS reels, but with a few extra dollars, you can tune it up and if it just works wonderful. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments below what you guys think. And if you guys are giving it a shot, remember guys, when you guys upgrade your bearings, it's gonna come out a lot faster. So be careful with setting up your brakes and your first cast, make sure you guys don't go 100%, all right? Don't wanna just uh, go crazy backlash because you know how thin your lines are when you guys go BFS fishing. You might have a bird nest that, you, just, you know, you gotta cut all your line off and that's a waste of line. And if you do waste line, make sure you guys throw the line in the trash can, not in the, on the ground or in the water, all right? Save the earth. Goodbye.